30 minute core fusion class. So get out your mats, get out some space, have a great time, and we will be here every day this week at noon with our lunchtime live workouts. Have fun, everybody. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all so much for joining me. And I just want to first off say how proud I am of our community um, with all these changes, everybody, you know, sticking together and or staying apart rather, uh, being at home and staying safe and hopefully flattening the curve so we can get through this, uh, uh, this kind of scary time. Uh, anyhow, as Jane said, I'm going to be sharing with you a core bar fusion class. This is one of uh, the favorite classes here. If you haven't been to it, those of you who have, hi, so good to see you all. Um, we're going to start off with a little warm up. Uh, if you're one of my regulars, this will be a good familiar warm up for you. Uh, we're just going to get the body uh, nice and warm. And then we're going to move to some real uh, core and glute uh, work. All you need is a clear space. I do recommend a little padding for your knees. I just have myself a little towel here. Uh, so go ahead, get yourself set up, and I'll get the music going. All right. All right. Hey, regulars, hey out there. <laughs> this is my first time too, so stay with it, all right? We're gonna start with our feet a little wider, then hips width apart. So slightly turned out. We'll do a spinal roll. Slide your hands down to your knees. Let the hips move back and down. Exhale, round spine and slowly roll your way up. Nice. Pull those shoulders back. Open your chest. Hips back and down. Sink low. Exhale, roll it up. Again, nice and slow. Hips move back and down. Exhale, round and roll. Spread those shoulder blades apart. And then pull them back together. Open the chest. Last one. Rolling it up. All right, let's come on down here. We're gonna stay down low. Hands on your knees. We're gonna try a little twist here. So twist, bring your right shoulder over towards your left knee. Look over that left shoulder. Push it away. Second side push. All right, pushing into those knees, create length in the spine. One more time to each side. All right, and then we find our squat here. Send those hips back, line those knees up right over your heels. Knees in line with the toes. Press down through your feet. Reach your arms forward. Zip up that core. Pull the navel to the spine. Ribs pull back and in. Chest and heart lifted. Get ready to move. Up and down. Yeah, with each squat, you get a little bit lower, trying to get those hips down to about knee level. Try to create that even pressure down through your heel, out through your big toe, and out through the pinky toe. Nice. Can you squeeze those glutes as you come up? Pull those ribs right over your hips, and squeeze that core. Last one, we come down. Hold it, we'll bend that left knee. And come to the knee, send your hips back, press nice and even through your foot. Pull those ribs in nice and tight. Second side, reach. Press through your feet. Hips back, core tight, shoulders down the back. You ready? Reach those arms forward. Keep that core tight, we go side to side. Yeah. You got it. Chest up, core tight. Push off those feet. Keep the heels down. Keep the pinky toe down. Keep that big toe down. Nice. We're gonna add a little twist. We call it pulling the weeds. You ready to pull those weeds out? Reach and toss. Reach and toss. Reach, toss. Reach, toss. Woo! Are you getting warm? Feel that body heat rise, heart rate. Let's take it a little higher and reach across. Like you're reaching from the opposite side of the room. Again, keep those knees bent. Keep that reach nice and long. Find that full extension. We take it a little bit higher. Ready? And three, two, one. We're gonna reach it up, up and down. Up and down. You reach across. Get low into that squat. Keep your chest up. Core tight. Woo. Reach.
reach. You can pivot on that toe, or reach for that upper corner of the room, right where the wall and the ceiling meet. Nice work. Woo! All right, ready for those heel kicks? And three, two, and one. Heel kick. Woo! Woo! You want to bring that heel to your bum. Pump those arms back. Take a little circle around the room. Woo! Yeah, get ready. Get ready for your high knee. And three, two, one. High knee. Elbows wide. Keep that chest up, core tight. Think of your core. Light step through those feet. Right? So if you got neighbors downstairs, they should hear a thing. Right? Kids sleeping in the next room, no big deal. Woo! Nice and light on those feet. We'll add that twist in three, two, and one. We twist. Bring an opposite elbow towards the opposite knee. Again, light on those feet. Woo! All right, let's slow that down in three, two, one. Release. Circle those arms out and around. All right. Release those arms down. All right, I'm going to turn to the front of my mat to give a little bit more of that side view. We're going to come down into a squat. Let your feet be a little wider than hips width apart. Toes out and get nice and low. Just wiggle a little side to side. Woo. All right. Everybody's squat's going to look a little different. Some of you will be a little higher, some of you a little lower. Maybe your heels are up, maybe your heels are down. You do you. You always do you. Do what's right for you. We'll take those hands underneath your shoulders. Lift your hips up a little bit so you can get those heels down onto the floor. Step your right foot back to lunge. Press down through your right hand, reach your left arm up, and twist. Get those hips ready. 
Reverse your circles in the other direction. And playful with the movements. All right, come up to all fours. And this is where, if your knees are feeling sensitive, I recommend you getting a little padding. I just got a little towel here for a little extra padding. Coming into tabletop, you want to line your shoulders up over your wrist. Spread your fingers nice and wide. And line your knees up right underneath your hips. All right, right leg extends back. Flex your ankle and point all five toes towards the floor. Feel the hips and the shoulders squaring towards the ground. All right, now we're going to bring the knee down. Lining up right by that left knee and then extend it straight back. Down for two, back for two. Down, two, back, two. You got it. Taking it slow here. So we feel in our body, hips and shoulders square. Keep lifting those ribs up and in. We don't want any sway back. All right, we're going to take this a little bit faster. Right? Go up and up. Up, up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Can you hold it? Hold it out there. Keep it square into the floor. Push the floor away. Look over your right shoulder. Bring your right leg over to the right. So you just see your foot here. Now we bring that foot back across. You're going to tap the toe. Pull it back up. Reach. Out. Tap. Lift. Reach. Yes, you got it. Right? We're moving slow here again. We're slowing that movement down. Really thinking about the mind, the body, and how it's moving. Right? You only let that leg go as far out as you can without creating this big sway in your back. Right? Now you've got that down. Now we'll bring a little pace to it. So tap, reach, tap, reach. Right? If you need to stay slow, stay slow. Right? So for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, keep the control. Two, and one, we hold. All right, we want to feel that fatigue in the legs. My legs are shaking, how about you? Ooh, they're shaking good and tight. We're gonna lower your right elbow down to the floor. You're gonna bring your right knee towards your right shoulder and then extend it back behind. Pull it in and reach. Stay strong in that core. Don't let everything shift towards the left. Notice if the body starts to get sloppy. Pull it back in. Nice. Almost there. Last one, we bring that knee nice and high and wide. Pull that knee up and down. So just lower, just alongside that left knee. Never resting to the floor and then lifting back up. And I know this might be hard because you can't see it. You might not be able to see exactly what's going on. You can get a better view second side. Two more, you got it. Woo! All right, all right, let it go. Stretch those hips back. Wiggle them around. So you're gonna feel that left hip. That's your stabilizer. It did a lot of good work for you. So wiggle around here. Then we do some circles with those hips. Get ready for the second side. That's the nice thing about being at home when you're doing your workout is nobody else is watching. Right? You can add all your own little things in. All right, let's come back up to all fours. Second side, left leg extends back, ankle flex, spread those toes. Keep lengthening out through kind of your head. Ribs in nice and tight. Yeah, low down and back. Nice and slow. Down for two, up for two. All right, get a feel for it. Not gonna lie, the second side is a little harder, right? Because that left leg is already tired. Really plug that right hip in. All right, you ready to take a little faster? Got that movement ready? So up and down. Back, down, up, down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it back. Hold it. All right, stay with it. We're gonna bring that foot to the side. You're gonna look over the left shoulder. Keep the hips centered. 
stirred, and then bring it back, tap the toe, and then bring it up, and tap. Nice and slow. Calculating the movements here. Feel like what's happening in your hips, what's happening in your shoulders. Right, what's happening right around this midline? Can you pull those ribs up and in? Ready for that? A little bit faster pace. Out, down, out, down, out, down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold. Lower that left elbow down. You're right on, staying on the right hand. Bring the knee towards the shoulder and extend it back behind you. More lock and reach. All right, you're taking that knee nice and wide. We call this hydrant, right? Knee is wide. Don't let the ribs fall. Keep hugging the navel back towards the spine. All right, now we hold it out there. Hold it. Try to see how high. Can you lift that left knee without tipping right? You work within that range as we go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Keep breathing. Two more. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Woo. Breathing. Two more here. Nice. There's the music again. Let it go. Hips back. Wiggle it out. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and cross your ankles. You're gonna extend your legs out in front of you. Draw your soles of your feet together. Get a little hip stretch. Release your crown of your head down towards your toe. Take some deep breaths here. The work isn't done yet. Roll your way up. Start to rock back onto your sit bones. Lift your feet up off the ground. Keep the inner seams of your feet together. Bring your arms to the inside and squeeze. Hold. Isolating those muscles, hugging them deep into the hip sockets. Shoulders hugging in and down. Create that length up through your head, crown of your head. All right, we're gonna come to the outside. So you're gonna scoop up in. Squeeze in, and at the same time, can you push your legs out into your arms? Hold. Pull that belly in nice and tight. And behind the knees. Rock and roll your way down. Hug your knees into your chest. Give it a little rock side to side. Squeeze those inner seams of the feet together. Lift your head and shoulders up. We're going to lift and lower. Check those knees. Make sure those knees are over your hips. You don't want them too close to your chest. You want them over the hips, squeezing those inner seams of the feet together. Keep the chin slightly tucked. All right, last five, four, three, two, and one. Release, hug your knees in, and hold that right knee in. Extend the left leg long. You can point your toe. Lift your head and shoulders. Pull the nose towards the knee. Now I'll switch. Pull the nose towards the knee. Lift those upper shoulders. Try to relax the neck, chin slightly down. And let's go. We'll move. Exhale as you squeeze. Nice work. the head and shoulders lifted, navel to the spine for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release. Release the head and shoulders. Bring the feet to the floor, hips width apart. Bring those knees right over your hips. Bring your arms right down by your sides. You should be able to tickle the back of your heel here. When you're ready, inhale, lift your hips. Press the shoulders down. Press the heels down. Find all four corners of the feet and then squeeze your glutes. Those are your butt muscles. Squeeze the tail. All right, now lift, lower and lift. So we're not going to the floor. We're going a little up and a little down. Pushing those hips up, opening up the front of the hips and 
by squeezing those glutes. Nice work. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Release. All right, take your right hand behind your head. Right foot on the floor, extend that left leg long. We're gonna cross and reach. Cross and reach. Squeezing that elbow across the knee. Stay grounded through your feet. Last three, two, and one. Hold, squeeze. Nice work, lower it down, second side. Straighten the right leg. Left hand behind the head, and right arm is on the floor. All right, when we're ready, bring that right knee up to the left elbow, squeeze and hold, and reach. Squeeze and reach. Try to hover that leg above the ground. Get that shoulders up. We're never resting. We stay lifted, we stay hovered. Last three, two, and one. Pull it in. Release. All right. One more time to each side. Nice right. option here to add on. You're going to extend the left leg. Right hand behind your head. Right foot to the floor. So you can lift your hips up and squeeze and reach. So we're doing a little bridge here with the hips lifted. Again, this is option two. If this doesn't work for you, keep your hips on the floor. Nice work. Woo! Five. Last one, then squeeze, release. Up. Second side, take the left hand behind your head, straighten your right leg long. Left foot is on the floor. Remember your options. You can stay with the hips on the floor or add the hip lift, keeping the hips lifted the whole time. Hovering. Almost there. Woo. Full body. Try to keep those hips level. Last three. Two, and one, release. Grab those knees in your chest. Take some deep breaths. And that's it for today. I encourage you to spend a little bit more time just stretching out, breathing, and uh, I hope to see you again in person. But for now, we'll take what we can get and uh, take care. Thank you.